What's that can't stop laughing moment where you're in a situation you shouldn't be laughing? Visiting my grandmother's grave with my grandfather for the first time a few years ago. Expected tears and a solemn day. Instead we passed a grave marked, Wanda, and my grandfather said, well I wonder what killed her. None of us could stop laughing, my grandmother would have loved it. My mother and father went to a funeral of one of mother's aunts that she was not close to, in fact my father had never met her. As they stood at the open casket my father said to my mother she just doesn't look like herself again my father had never seen the aunt before. For whatever reason this struck my mother as very funny and she started laughing, she held her hands to her face and ran from the casket. Her sister saw this and thought she distraught and followed her out to console her. Where my mother had to explain that she was laughing and not crying and why. She was so pissed at my father it was hilarious. I had this really nice but really awkward physics teacher in high school. He was a large nerdy man but spoke with a lisp and a very soft voice. Imagine the guy from office space asking for his stapler, that's how he sounded. One day he is giving his lesson and mid-sentence he goes from this voice to what sounded like Satan himself. OK class please deep hell voice take out your books, cough cough erm excuse me must have something in my throat. Then continued like nothing happened. I could not, for the life of me stop beep laughing and I was the only beep one. It was the most bizarre and beep hilarious thing I had ever seen. I had to walk out of the class to catch my composure. This was at least 15 years ago now and I'll never forget it. In school we did a course on mythology and had a project where we had to write our own mythological stories for the creation of creatures places etc. One kid wrote a story about how a man was abusing his horse, so the gods cursed him. One day his horse threw him onto spear which went through the back of his head and out of his forehead, and he transformed into the first unicorn. I couldn't beep stop laughing for a solid five minutes. The teacher berated me for laughing at violence but the kid and I both thought that was funny as beep. During a cathedral confirmation liturgy, the bishop let out a resounding fart in the reverberant room as he elevated the host. Immediately, the deacon began swinging the incense pot, thurible, because the altar boys kneeling directly behind the bishop started holding their noses and waving their hands. At a funeral, the pastor kept referring to God as the Great Comforter and all I could think of was a tacky bedspread glowing with holy light. Every time he said it my giggles got worse to the point I had to pretend I was crying really hard and left to hide in the bathroom. My granddad had, if you don't know me by now, played as the curtains closed at his funeral. Shouldn't have laughed, couldn't help it, legend, edit, rip my notifications, thanks for the silver and pieces of flair. On the best date of my life I went to see Tilda, a really stupid movie Tilda Walk to Remember, edit cause many are asking, with my first girlfriend. We were sitting in the fourth to fifth row from the screen and two rows ahead of us were a group of younger girls. One of them is rushing back to her seat with her friends and she slips and falls. It was a nasty fall too and even though I felt bad for her I couldn't stop laughing. It was awful. I don't know why I couldn't stop and I was even like, God I know I shouldn't laugh but that's just making me laugh harder. It took me at least 10 minutes to stop. Girl who fell. If you're out there somewhere I hope my laughing didn't make you feel bad. To this day I still don't really get why it was so damn funny to me. In high school there was three religion courses you could pick, Catholic, Evangelic, Edit, I'm told it's Protestant in English or neutral. You would have different topics in class and different destinations on the yearly trip. I picked Catholic and on the yearly trip we went to a monastery. On the third day one of the exercises was to talk about death, so there's 20 kids in a circle of chairs and everyone's crying because everyone lost a loved one at some point and death is a hard topic. The teacher starts talking about how she imagines death to be like and begins to tell, I imagine after dying there to be a long long spiral staircase. And you go down and down until there's a door and behind that door. The rest I didn't hear because my friend next to me whispers, a beep kebab stand, we both sat there giggling for like 20 more minutes until the meeting was over. To this day I feel really bad. Used to be a member of student council back in college and this one time during a meeting with the campus dean who was explaining, very seriously, how some students were beep on the toilet walls and throwing literal beep on the toilet ceilings which were building up expenses for cleaning. 
was asked to give ideas on how to tackle the issue and I clearly remember trying not to laugh and holding it in perfectly but then as I made eye contact with a friend of mine in the council we bursted out laughing to the point where our stomachs started to hurt which lead to other members of the council laughing out loud. It was the first time meeting the campus dean as well after that anytime I'd see him he'd give me a dirty look. At a funeral. There was a slushy machine and my cousins and I wrecked havoc on that thing. Ended up having one of those moments where everything is funny and you can't stop laughing. When I worked with a financial advisor, he misspoke and asked me to check a client's investment in Blackcock, instead of Blackrock and Industry Fund. He didn't realize what he'd said, and he was super big on maintaining a professional, humorless working environment, so I couldn't point it out. I managed to keep a straight face long enough to excuse myself, then spent 15 minutes wheezing in a spare office. Oh god, my professor was very solemnly telling us during an emotional discussion about when he watched the North Tower fall on 9-11. I was so horrified that I started laughing. I physically couldn't stop and my eyes were begging for help. I laugh uncontrollably when I'm uncomfortable and that was one of my worst moments. Edit, the wholesome award. Thanks, now we're both going to hell. I was at church for my grandfather fifth year death anniversary and the guy singing was so bad my grandma and me were almost died from laughter edit, it was more of a memorial than an anniversary. Not me, but my friend. She was getting fired from her job, and all she could think about was what'll it be fellas? Mustard, or ketchup? From the Spongebob Squarepants movie. Went to a roadkill call, human roadkill, and had to scrape brains, guts off the pavement with a shovel. While doing so it reminded me that as soon as I got back to the station I needed to start preparing the spaghetti meat sauce for dinner. Mentioned it to my captain and we giggled on the side of the highway while shoveling some poor bastard into a garbage bag. My senior year of high school I went to this memorial breakfast with my principal and a few other seniors because my principal was begging a few of us to go and hey, free breakfast. So getting to the end this woman starts singing an incredibly moving song, and she's doing beautifully. But I look over at my principal and he just looks so dead. Like his face was completely blank and because I also don't deal well with emotion apparently, I thought it was the funniest thing ever. So while this lady is singing and some people are crying I am losing my mind and trying so hard to stop laughing and I can't. My friends thought I was having a complete mental breakdown, like I'd finally lost my mind or something. I felt absolutely horrible about it and ducked out as soon as I could. Edit. This is the most liked thing I've ever posted on Reddit, and it's basically me being a horrible person, by accident. But thank you anyway. My father's funeral. My daughter was three months old and have a lot of belly pain. She farted so loudly that the priest needed to stop talking for us to stop laughing. He even told us that the church was a serious place, and if we couldn't behave to get out. I told him the deceased was my father, and I couldn't control my daughter's farts. When I was a second year law student, I had a classmate abruptly get up, mid-lecture, and waddled quickly out of the lecture hall. There were about 90 students in the lecture and, in law school, the academic approach is the Socratic method, which is usually the professor and one student going one-to-one -one during the course of a lecture-slash-class. The dude comes back into the classroom, and the professor abruptly halts his current line of questioning with another student. I'm front of the class, the professor asks the returning student, is everything okay? The student responds bad Chipotle and walked back to his seat. I spent the rest of the lecture period giggling through the professor grilling students about family law. TL, Dr. A classmate in law school has an explosive bout with Chipotle that made him duck run to the bathroom in the middle of a lecture. Back in 2004, I was at my cousin's funeral, and my aunt was in such a shocked state, she couldn't stop laughing. She was known to do this at funerals. Because laughing is contagious, I also started laughing a little bit, and I had to go to the back of the church, and to the bathroom to get it out of me. I was in a local support group for friends and relatives of people with bipolar disorder. One person was relating the story of her older teenage daughter who, in a manic episode, grabbed a flashlight and took it upon herself to stand in a downtown intersection and direct traffic, until she was picked up by the police and taken to the hospital. I kind of covered my mouth and pretended I was having a coughing fit and excused myself to go to the restroom. Edit, another person her younger teenage daughter was in the emergency room getting stitched up after an episode of self-harm. One of the nurses was mean and implied she was a waste of space as opposed to the real patients and said you're just doing it for attention, right? The daughter, irritated, said yes, now gimme. 
Dot I was able to not laugh at that one, but it was a close call. Edit 2, younger teenage daughter getting her blood draw, done once a month, to check her lithium levels. Normally she absolutely hated to have it done to her and squirmed and sobbed and even put up a bit of a fuss, but this time she was kind of super calm and detached and blasé. Okay mom probably thought, getting this thing done is finally going smoothly for both of us then out of nowhere the daughter asks can you please take a few more of those tubes, full of my blood backslash, and give them to me so I can do an art project. The nurse of course said no, and the mom was so startled and mortified she was speechless. Lithium carbonate is a medication used to treat bipolar disorder that requires frequent blood testing to make sure the level in a particular person is between effective and toxic because this range is much, much narrower than most medications. Edit 3, thanks for the awards. Edit 4, I'm getting PMs asking the name of the support group. It was in person at a local mental health clinic in the Minneapolis area, not online or national, and it's been a few years since I've been to it since my cousin moved to a different part of the country. I heard a kid fart in church during a wedding. I had to remove myself because I couldn't get it under control. It was one of those loud, echo of the old wooden pew farts. Guy on the train in visible pain after an exclamation of, oh god, from inhaling my poison ass gas and I can't control myself as he's gagging. Even off the train I continued to lose my composure and choke on unexpected laughter. Even years later I still do. ETA. Thank you fellow farty friends for making this my most awarded and upvoted comment. Last year's Thanksgiving, right before the meal we all stood in a big circle and said a prayer and what we are thankful for. Well my mom's uncle, I will refer to him as, uncle. His name is Dick, yes uncle Dick. When we all stood up, it was revealed that uncle Dick had forgotten to zip up his jeans after going to the bathroom. My dad and I were directly across from Uncle Dick and we were barely keeping from bursting out in all our laughter. Then he leaned over to me and whispered, I'm thankful that Uncle Dick remembered to put on fresh underwear this morning. About halfway through the meal we were still laughing about it when Grandma came over to yell at us for being distracting. She basically asked what we were laughing at in a not-so-nice voice. We pointed her gaze across the room and she couldn't help but laugh a bit. We told her it had been like that the whole meal. The way we had the tables set up was a big square of folding banquet tables. Dot. So we could look out straight ahead of us at Uncle Dick's boxers. My friends from college and I are still super close even 15 years later. There's an inside joke involving giving people a specific fake name that we always laugh about when we get together. Last week one of these friends tried to kill himself. We'll call him John. John's brother, another of the close friends, called me and told me that John had tried to kill himself and that he was at the hospital. Then he tells me that when asked for identification at the scene of the suicide attempt John gave the paramedics the fake name from college. As sad as I was about what had happened I bust out laughing so hard when he told me. I couldn't help it. I'm laughing now even thinking about it. All of the other members of the group had the same reaction when John's brother called them. All of them. We've got Lake of Fireside property in hell. Cheers. My son is two and has started talking back from time to time, telling us no to basically everything, etc. I know I shouldn't be laughing but sometimes it's just so funny to me that this little person thinks they're calling the shots. Was sat at dinner with friends this week and one of the kiddos was saying they had extra stomachs for some particular food. Started talking about how cows had extra stomachs. Then somehow it got to comparing humans and cows and one of them said in the brightest, most angelic voice, but mum doesn't have udders. I made the mistake of glancing at her husband, and I swear the filthy twinkle in his eye was audible. Thank beep I have long hair, I dropped my head down to look at my plate, so my hair covered my expression and sat there with my shoulders shaking silently. He asked in a rather amused voice if I was okay as I appeared to be vibrating. Couldn't be breathe. During sex. My wife farted loudly. And I couldn't finish because I was laughing so hard. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.